yeah. Got me a fat girl named Big Mama, baby. Traveling out there, YouTube. Taking another ride today. Nice cloudy day. Not too clear, not at all. It was this morning, but it's all right. A little breezy. It's a beautiful day. Today, we're going to head out to Mount Rubido. That's the little town where everybody work out in there. Zoom out from the mountain, man. Look like ants walking on the hill. So many people working out. We're going to go check them out. Today, we're going out on Big Mama. The Biconic MD750 Fat Tire Warthog Bike. I haven't rode it in a long time because, see, I have my damn Suron. Since I got my Suron, I haven't really been touching my other bikes. They've just been going to waste. We're going to ride this one today. Got my friend, Mr. Pete. Got my little music with me. So anyway, let's get a quick review of this bike real quick here. This big old 4.8 tires on it, fat tires. I got me some, some tail lights. Them things is real bright too. They, they, they real bright. You can see them for miles. This little one here, you can see it pretty good. Got me a Insta360 stick for my camera. A toe peak trunk bag with panniers that come out the sides of it. A SRAM X5 derailleur on it. And my Orange Rock Brother pedals. Kind of match it up a little bit. I got me a nice cushion seat right here. Got me a wild man. Call my little glove compartment back, you know, keep little things in there, my phone mount. Little mirror, thumb throttle on the left, which I don't really like, but it's okay. Got me some little bark busters here. And my uh, my Garmin mount for my Garmin. Nice horn, nice horn on it. The front fender, I got a rear fender too, but I don't use it when I have the rack on the back. Um, got my side carriers for my air pump right here. And I got my water on this side here. Yeah, it's a mid-drive motor. I think I got it up to, I got up to 42 miles an hour one time, but that was with a little bit of downhill on it. Just a little bit, not too much. Other than that, I can pedal this baby up to about 35 miles an hour, you know, without hurting myself or hurting anything else. But it's a good, comfortable bike. Uh, the last big ride I took on it, I went from San Bernardino out to Norco and back. That was a total of 55 miles. I did it all in level one, or level assist one. So by the time I got back, I made it to Colton. I was half dead already then. I was half dead. But we're out of Santa Ana bike trail. We got other bikers passing by, the roadies, you know. So everybody out trying to do something to have some kind of fun. So we're going to take the Santa Ana River Bed Trail all the way out there to Mount Rubido. We're going to go up the mountain, see what's up there. Go up there and take a look at the scenery. Man, I wish I was, everything was straight with my drone. I'd love to take it out here with me. But anyway, here's Big Mama, y'all. Don't forget that name. Big Mama. Yeah. Anyway, so we're getting ready to roll out and get this journey started. All right, everybody, so y'all strap up, put your helmets on, put your gloves on, turn your music on. Let's head over to Mount Rubido. Big truck on two wheels, y'all. Let's go. One thing I like about this bike is that it's a smooth ride, even though it's fat tire. And it's real comfortable to ride too. It's more for a taller person, but it still works if you lower the seat. Oh y'all, excuse the wind, the noise from the wind. I didn't bring my uh, cover today. And we got a roadie coming up on us right now. Give me a better, well, not a better, but I need to give me an external mic set up. 
so we can avoid all this yelling and trying to talk over the wind. And, you know, uh, something you might want to say. And somebody close by and you don't want them to hear what you're saying. You know, this way here, I got to damn near be yelling. Or y'all won't hear me too clear. So that's another thing I'll put on the list. Nice external mic set. Make it that much better. So right now I'm in the third power assist level. And like sixth gear. I'm going uphill right now and it's slowing down a little bit. All I have to do is drop a gear and I'll push right up. And try and get a little workout on my legs, you know? camera going too right now. It's a place where people park at when they get ready to go ride, leave the truck, car and truck there, unload the bike, go ride, come back. People riding by me, they see me with the cameras. I don't know what they're thinking. I hope they think, oh, one day this dude gonna make it. Ha <laughs> ha, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'd love to have something like that. See a lot of older cats out here getting their ride on. Keeping it up, getting their exercise in. I don't know, one more that I came through here. Some damn coyotes. Small little pack ran right across the trail. I was actually on my way back from Ruby though. This was probably around, uh, just, the sun was just coming, barely coming up. The light was just barely kicking in. Oh, look at that. They done drove the damn gate down. Oh, there's the SS Minnow. They're waiting on the water to come back so they can take off. Probably gonna be a long time. So here is the Biconic Fort Hall, Big Mama. Got 84% battery left. I've been running in power level three just to keep a smooth cadence. I'm at 84% battery. Right now I'm at 15.9 miles an hour. Uh, so here we come on the incline, it'll slow down. I just drop a couple of gears, one or two, or pick my pace up one or the other. That way I can keep going. 15.9, 15, 14, 6, 14, 5, 14, 9, 50. It's easy. One thing I found out about this bike is, if you're gonna use the throttle, then uh seems like the, the the lower gears gives you the best takeoff the higher gears is more of a real slow takeoff and gradually builds up speed but by the time you get to a good speed you know you, you probably already reached a point where you're ready to stop so i uh i work it like a transmission you know, I start off in the lower gears. I just click and work my way up to a higher gear. It works out fine. As a biker, is your life. Don't let it be gloved into dank submission. Beyond the watch, there are ways out. There is a light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. I'll find it. Beyond the watch, I'll the ride it. I'll do it. My best. 
Here is Mount Rubidoux, folks. Mount Rubidoux. Turn these crybabies down a little bit. Rio Grande. Casa. Rio Grande. Rio Grande. Check that thing when I go up in there, boy. Uh, it might be like a roach motel. You might check in, you might not check out. Let's go see what that is. There's a staircase to climb up there. Oh, I'm on a bike, so I can't do that. Riverside Lions Club. Pretty interesting. Workout town. Workout town. Everybody working out. Jogging, walking, hiking, climbing, whatever. Like a little kick in the chute spot, like Baker Derrick X say, little chute spot. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my chute spot. Got my little chew spot right up the way here. Homemade bench and everything in the shade. Get your glow on. over and over and over so I'm pretty sure I done hit about a good 13 miles already just messing around you know and I'm at 71% battery I left from San Bernardino I'm all the way in Rubido now there's a chew spot I'm gonna stop saying that. I ain't gonna use this word shit what a smoking session room shit situation room Try to ride out there one day, it's too sandy. Another truck. Damn, the cab there, the chassis over there. That's the way in. here it makes me want to just bring my little barbecue pit little table laptop and my drone 
in my bag, in my bottle, in my music. Just go hang out right there. Kick it. Excuse me, brother. Oh, wow. Cloudy today. Thank you. Our way through is a lot of people today, y'all. And we're getting a workout. Oh, yeah. Thing up here. She climbing fifth power, fifth power level. Slow it down. Catch up to her. All right, take off again. Point four miles an hour. Excuse me. That's how people try to be king of the fucking trails. Right behind you. Sorry. <laughs>
boy Jim. Big box. Yeah. We're still going. Got the mystery driver. Mystery rider was just calling me. Got to call him back. Glad this thing make a lot of noise when it moves. You can hear it coming. Workout top. to the drone <laughs> so we're up here on top of my ruby dough i'm looking at this airport and we'll see if i can get an airplane fly by before we go oh here come a city truck or something you can see he's scared <laughs> 